Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The idea that missiles will be all a fighter aircraft needs was prevalent in late 50s. As missile guidance and tracking systems evolved, so did the countermeasures and maneuvers to evade and jam the missiles. The number of air to air missiles a fighter jet can carry is also limited to single digit. The missiles also have a minimal range which means it cannot be fired below certain range. For all these reasons, guns are still valid and important to take down the adversaries fighter jets with modern countermeasures. Even today, a gun gives the pilot a lot more option if the situation is unclear. Especially in close combat scenario, if all missiles are used or a fighter jet is closer than the minimal operating range of missile, turning away is still not an option because this gives opportunity to the enemy to turn in and engage. Further, losing airspeed is still considered as a blunder in air-to-air -air combat. The McDonnell Douglas F-4 Phantom II was initially equipped only with missiles. During the Vietnam War, this turned out to be a big capability gap as the long-range missiles back then were not very reliable. In real conflict scenario, the situations and conditions turned out always different than anticipated. Air Force frequently found itself in combat scenarios for which they were underprepared. If we further try to understand this in simple terms, the cannon of a fighter jet is like a bayonet on a rifle of an infantryman. It is difficult for non-practitioner to appreciate the need of it, even harder to explain. But for the warriors who has to wield these weapons, these are vital tools. Now, as many of you would be aware that LCTS Mark I is not certified to fire gun at present. But that does not mean that the gun is not integrated with LCA Tejas Mark I. All the FOC variants of Tejas has gun integrated but not cleared for firing. Tejas features an internal GSH-23 twin barrel autocannon. These guns are popularly known as Gasha amongst the fighter pilots who have been using it over five decades on various versions of MiG-21 fighters. The ground trials of the gun started way back in 2014, where some issues of vibration were reported. After investigation, it was found that the resolution of this issue and its certification would take another two years, which will further delay the timelines of FOC Tejas, and hence its further testing was parked for completing other important work on Tejas. Last year, the LSP-7 of this Mark I had been sent to Nasik-based HL facility for gun testing. The LSP-7 Tejas will be undergoing ground and calibration trials followed by flight trials. The firing trials of the gun at high altitude is soon to commence. More priority was given and is being given to the integration of Astra Mark I, Hammer and JDAM for good reasons and these integrations are also work in progress. Most of the work related to the integration of Astra Mark I and Hammer missile is complete and soon we could see their flight trials too. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.